Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here today with, it's a craft with me today really, not a tutorial. You might learn something, you might not. I'm decorating this journal. This is the hardback journal that I did do a tutorial on putting together. And yeah, it's all done apart from yeah the decoration but as i did say in this style of journal i don't put a lot of decoration in we did the cabochon didn't we for the spine i've took that off just to make it easier to work with uh we've got this on the front i showed you how to cover it we've done the hidden spine i still haven't decided what kind of pocket to put on the inside front cover but i've got right up until the minute i list it on etsy to decide that aren't i so yeah i've not really sh I've done a big flick through of this it's a very chunky journal with lots of pages it's very much a writing journal i have forgot how many pages are in it to be honest so i'll take you through the first signature we've got design paper there coffee dyed this is from a book i think the book is the concise british flora if i'm correct this page was from an arty maze kit so what we got there four pages some green ledger paper that's five we've got a pocket making six a fold out with music paper making seven more coffee dyed making eight another fold out with paper from the die cuts with a view I've got there nine some tea dyed squared paper that makes ten so yeah there's ten sheets so that's just in the first signature that gives you 40 sides so there's 40 pages in one signature i make them roughly the same i've got five signatures so it's about 200 pages this in total so let's crack on what i've done just move the journal to one side i've gone through my entire stash of bits and bobs and i've pulled out anything that i thought would be good in this journal so we've got some little bingo tickets they're from various kits i'm not even going to guess what kits they're just some yeah don't know <laughs> it's a coffee dyed paper some brown tags i've got a little policy envelope do they fit in that yeah they're the right size for that a little policy envelope that i never finished putting together this could be victoria designs i'm tipping it's victoria designs that's definitely crafts by kelly kelly's crafts by kelly arty mays but they're just all things that i thought would go nicely in this journal i've got some washi tape that's checked some little digital flashcards tabs yeah it's this is oh wonder where these were <laughs> i must have put these in right at the beginning just some circles i've cut mainly from uh, edith holden yeah i've got a wage packet here that i'd ink the edges up on and not used couple of my straw paper envelopes do do these in my shop yeah so as you can see oh, a little pocket that will be cute on a page oh a tiny little straw paper envelope i don't sell this size i must have just thought oh i'll make one <laughs> cute yeah lots of cute little tags some glassine bags this one's already got the edges inked a piece of handmade paper with some leaf inclusions oh look i told you when i did some stamping on fabric recently i'd done some before and they keep popping up this is one that was just a little flower i'd done in some i think i used some like an olive green ink on that yeah so i think you get an idea oh a bobbin that i've not finished cutting some coffee dyed strips lots of little bobs and bits and things we've got one of the tim holtz slot dies uh yeah lots i'll just grab in my cup of tea so 
So, oh, look at that little, I think that's too big. Didn't know I'd put that in. That's just a little tag that I've made at some point. Trifold tag. I might do a video on those. This is sweet. Yeah, so labels. You can see a theme here, as in there isn't a theme. <laughs> it's just bits and bobs. Checked their Tracy Fox pockets. Yeah, oh, some of those. These are the, I think, is it Patricia Viramontes? Can't say a name. I think, oh, there's, there's another lady who does these. I know Yvonne Preston does them in her journals, and that's where I learned how to do them watching Yvonne Preston. Yeah, it's an A4 sheet. It's the way you fold it. I also think Tanya from Tatty Treasure just did some of these recently. That one might be a bit big for this journal, but this one, which I've done from a smaller piece of paper. Let's see. Yeah, it could be an A5. It could just be a random piece. You can fold that out then and journal on it. And then within your journal, it all tucks in. You just glue the back down and it also acts as a pocket. So they're cool. Some more random pockets. Yeah, it's just a lot of randomness, isn't it? Some bits. Oh, that's a. Uh, yeah. I'll have been doing some inking of edges resting on this. But then it looks pretty good when you've done, doesn't it? Some splishes and splashes. Oh, that's a little mason jar style thing. This is one that I did on my Cricut. I think it's quite cute. And oh, some vintage stickers. These are probably from, they'll be from Ali, Express, Amazon, or eBay. I get from whichever one, depending on how quick I want them. So, oh yeah, maps. Oh, I like these. I'll have to try sticking these onto cardstock and punching them. I don't know whether it'll work, but yeah, I like those. I'll put them back with the packet in case we don't use them. Now this video will either be one or two depending on how I crack on. I'll put it in the title. That's something I've started collaging then abandoned. I don't know why. Um, yeah, so I will also be using my tiny ephemera and small ephemera, which I think you're quite familiar with now. My grade, size graded bits and bobs. But these are just all stuff that was stuck elsewhere. So, back to the journal. What have we got? Now, we did see some pockets that I have made and not closed up. Like that one. I'm not going to do anything with that one. The recipient of this journal can decide if they want to close that up and make a pocket or not. I mean, I know a lot of people, they will just gesso over pages and write on them so yeah that's obviously good for writing now we've got this one which has got a pocket i need something in this pocket again i don't think i'm doing anything with that i'm leaving it as is so what do we want in this pocket what did we find in our stash i think I can fit some larger things than I thought in as well. So I'm going to grab this. This is another. This is all ready and part made journal cards and tags. Just pretty neutral ones. Like, like that. That's just a little ticket. Don't know where it was from. Another. Oh, I like, like that tag. In fact, we've got a couple. They're pretty nice. Again, I put some quite plain tags in writing journals because people might want to write on the fronts and the backs and I think they could look nice here. We could pop two in there. I quite like that. Yeah, so all I'd do here is punch a hole and put some fine twine. I might even put some wax thread. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let me get my crocodile. I'm going to use my handheld one. That is my crocodile of choice. It doesn't do anything the big one doesn't do. It's just a little bit uh, 
less cumbersome. I'm not sure I'd have bought it if I'd have had the big one first, to be honest. So don't, if you've got the big one, don't think you need to run out and get this. Or if you've got anything that makes holes, you don't need this. So I'm going to put a dot on here in the centre to help me get the hole as I want it. It's not even in the centre, is it? That's better. So then I'm going to line these tags up because it's the same. And I shall punch. Yeah, oh, that weren't bad. I got them quite central. And I'm not going to put anything else on these to reinforce them. They've got that look of a reinforcement ring. And it just again. It creates less bulk in your journal. I'm going to grab my wax thread. Yeah, if you've watched my craft room video, you can picture where I'm going now for this stuff. <laughs> I don't have a glamorous assistant behind me handing me everything. So I'm just going to get two shortish lengths. I don't mind if they pop out at back at, at side at journal. I quite like that look sometimes. I've had people who've bought my journals message me to tell me what they've done with them and yeah I had a lady who bought quite a few and she just uses them well yeah she's not bought many this year <laughs> she uses them when she goes on holiday she uses hers when she comes back to document a holiday so she finds a journal like this really useful there's no particular theme and she can make it whatever theme she likes. Also, I've had a gentleman buy it when I've done the planar journals. So that's that. So that's that page done. I'm very happy with that. And up until there, I'm not doing anything else. So what we've got next. Here we have another pocket. Now this pocket, I need to close. So I've got options. I can just glue it. I could staple it I could turn it into a tab as well but I don't want tabs in this journal I'm leaving it without tabs you could just wrap I'll use a tea bag I wouldn't use a tea bag I'd use fabric put your fabric over there and staple it down and there you've got your pocket and a tab all in one I like to kill two birds with one stone but I think I'm going to do it with washi yeah I fancy using washi I may, I may even staple it after I put the washi on. I don't know. What's that? Oh, look at this. It might look a bit plain and boring, this washi, but I think with that page, it'll look good. I'm going to cut this straight across. I'd ripped it on whatever I'd used it on last time. So this is awkward not turning it to do it. I'm going to use the lines that are here to help me line it up. I don't want the washi to go up over the top of the pocket because we want the whole pocket to be usable. I'm just going to pop that on. I've perhaps got more on the other side than the front but and that's not come. It's not stayed stuck has it? And I've not pressed it down very firmly yet. So there we go. And I'm just going to grab a board. <laughs> a board. I've got a book out to use. An empty book. Because when you've already made the journal and you're decorating it, you need something like this. I'm sorry if that's shiny. And I'm going to wrap that around. And then I'm just going to come in and burnish that with my bone folder. I tend to find it does stick pretty well when you burnish it. I think people know washi is not a permanent thing anyway. And there is, there is a chance you may have to 
replace it but yeah i like that so there you go we've got a pocket and i think that washi just fits in nicely with the colors on this page so there we go i wasn't kidding when i said i don't do a lot of decoration in these journals they're not naked but they don't have a lot in i may go back and add some extra pockets so we're halfway through and all we've done is put some washi on and a couple of tags so yeah i need to go back into here and put a pocket on somewhere just for a bit of added interest where shall we do it i like to put pockets on heavier pages such as this so do you know that little plain pocket that we're hanging about this one oh, i could put it there I think I'm going to pop it there. I know it covers some of that up, but that's not a bother. Yeah, a pocket there. Then we can have a tuck behind and a tuck in there. So I'm going to crack out the Cosmic Shimmer for this. And I'm just going to use a piece of card. I don't need anything. I don't need to be able to press down and burnish. So a piece of card will be sufficient. For this and I had one ready very strange color this <laughs> I don't know whether I like it or I don't I've been popping it in with my orders of trims from my shop I always use spare card just to strengthen the envelopes a little bit I recently changed from using I'm trying to keep my packaging as eco-friendly as possible within affordable limits and I found some bubble mailers that are recyclable the bubble part and the inside comes out of the paper part really easily and it's supposed to be compostable or if you're recycling it it's easier to separate we shall see won't we but they're not quite as sturdy as I would like. So I've been folding things over in this card. And that's been one of my colours lately. Yeah, it's, ne it's nearly vintage, this card. I've had it so long. Right, so there we've got that little pocket. We're getting a messy desk already, aren't we? And then I'm just going to look through my little stash of stuff. Don't want to craft a lunch, do we? For something to pop in, and we've got that. I think I want something shorter than the actual pocket, though. But sometimes you've just got to use what you've got, haven't you? Otherwise, it gets out of hand. <laughs> Says me. I think I've I'm past the it's getting out of hand point. Oh, I like that. That little flash card yeah and we could put i think i want to put a butterfly in as well because the butterfly i then see it could be a moth i'm not sure fluttering around the flowers or sleeping amongst the flowers if it's a moth yeah i like that and on here i think i'm just going to put some washi tape what have we got i've got the ticket washi tape I've got some with butterflies on and it's not an overly girly butterfly one if you know what I mean by that fine end woman you can do it go on you can do it <laughs> yeah I mean it's not just pink 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 I just I do I like that I'm just gonna I want the ends I want the rip to look on the end on this one i'm just going to pop a bit of washi along it i do you don't always have to go for something really fancy and overly decorative do you just to give it that little bit of something that it needs so chuck your book cover back in and burnish that we're gone 
I'm quite happy with that page now, decorated but not overly fancy. Yeah, so I'm happy we've got that there. Then we've got some tags, yes. We've got a pocket here. We need to put something in the pocket now, don't we? We can put something taller in this pocket because it's the full height of the page. Mm. I think I need to bob into my other... That's... Yeah, that's quite nice. That would fit. But we've got a policy envelope at the back, haven't we? We don't want to go too mad with policy envelopes. What we've got here? No, I don't think they're the right tones at all so I'll take them out I don't want that in I like that it's just an advert for Lion's Coffee I've backed it with tea dyed paper and sewn around yeah that I think would look nice yeah I like that in there I'm just going to ink the edges a bit more I mean, when, I, when I'm lacking inspiration and I don't know what to make or what to do, that's when I make all this random stuff up. And it doesn't look very exciting because I don't like to decorate it before I know what it's going in. And also, I do these types of journals where you don't need anything fancy. I keep saying that. It's not fancy. <laughs> so we're at the middle. Nothing's going on there. Ooh, that's the back of that lovely die cuts with a view page and we've got another pocket so I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to fasten this one with washi and I'm going to use the same washi because I can or could I use a sticker hmm. do you remember those little washi stickers I've got yeah oh actually I've just seen some of these have little circles they're not just stickers i'm going to use one of these yeah along this edge i'm going to start at the top of the pocket because it's going to be a little bit too long this i'm going to try and get a straight-ish oh yeah straight-ish objective achieved it's straight-ish i'm just going to tuck it over There we go. That's something a bit different to other one, isn't it? I'm just grab my scissors and trim the edge off. There we go. And then we need something for that pocket. What have we got again? I'll bring the box back so you can see. The things I know are not going to be candidates for this journal, I'm throwing to one side. Well, I'm not. I'm placing them gently to one side. No. Possibly. Possibly. No. No. Hmm. No. No, no. Strong possibility. Some random relatives. <laughs> Could be. That's a, a label from a clothing label. We don't want lilac. That's not the right tone again. I like that lug luggage label. That's looking like my favourite. That tag's too thick and bulky. We don't want butterflies. Possible little label. Mm, no. No. I, I rifle through these loads, you see. And when it's getting a bit low... Oh, that's a nice bit of linen effect card stock. Oh, I like that. That's a Kelly's Crafts by Kelly. It's a dragonfly. Sorry, Ooh, I don't know that. Just jumped but again at that BTS silly enabled. woman. Do you want to open it? No, thank you. There you go. You've got Alexa wanting to play a bit of K-pop. No, thank you. Not at this moment in time. Oh, little man. I like him. He's going in. She's not piped up for a while. Oh, that's a ticket that I made with the Tim Holtz. 
I've got washi tape on my finger. Do you know I'm that used to having washi tape on when I've got paper cuts that I thought that were actually meant to be there. Yeah, a little ticket I've made with the Tim Holtz stamp and dies. I don't want those. I think that uh, little beetle might make his way in. Ooh, another luggage tag. That's a different one and I've cut round it. A music paper tag, yes. Just a grungy tag. Another label. Oh, I like these. Don't know where these are from. Perfume bottle labels. I've took, gone to great pains to cut those out at some point, unless they came like that. I honestly don't know. Oh, I hope you like this little rifle. Oh, a cute little mouse. That's a stamp that I then watercoloured in. So I'm, I'm not. I'm not a great watercolour artist. But I can manage that much. Oh, that's the label that I've cut down without the top on. So we're adding even more possibilities. Oh, I like that. That's just a random. You know, I showed you the piece where I'd done used it as a background sheet when I'd stamped and stuff that's what had happened to this then I cut it out and sewed around it that's cute that little mouse what have we got here I mean there's one there look that's an advert for soap that could make it in it's just a random journal it's got random things in an altered playing card no not the right color some oh i start i did some artist trading coins once went all fancy with my acrylic backgrounds another advert i like the adverts i think a lot of those are from uh, my porch prints oh a library ticket See, when I said I'd gone through all my stash, I'd not obviously gone through all my stash, I'd had, that's nice. I'd gone through all my, do you know where I've stuffed things in drawers and forgot about them while another day. Well, I've gone through ones I knew I had ephemera and well, we're going to be going through some of them with you. In fact, we're nearly doing it today, aren't we? Oh, I like that. I have a feeling that's Victoria Designs, but I could be wrong button snaps do you know i like the coloring on that that's a project life card oh another tim holt slot die quite grungy looking dragonfly tag another advertisement too grungy right I'm quite happy with little bits and bo bobs we've unearthed in there. Well, I saw this as well. It's a. Again, I think that's. Can you tell I love buying stuff from My Porch Prints? <coughs> I think a lot of the My Porch Prints kits are good for just making ephemera, ephemera for other things, aren't they? Right. I think I want to put a luggage tag in here. That might be too dark. I don't like it. I think I prefer this brown one. Oh yeah, I do. I really prefer the brown one. So we just need to... The reason I leave those like that is I tend to get my corner punch then to do the corners rather than try and follow it with scissors. This big one should do it. It's the 10 millimeter one. Yeah, it's not done it exactly so i'm going to cut a little bit off top there with my paper trimmer come here little paper trimmer i'm not even getting on camera with paper trimmer i'm trimming a bit off top yeah i've cut a bit off top so that when i come in now with my corner punch it will get rid of the white there you go life's too short cut round curves there we go I like that now I'm not going mad with ink it's already brown I just want to take the white off the edges that's going in there I could put a hole but I'd have no need to I like that just as it is what else oh I think I like that 
yeah the button snap card and the address tag so that's that page done we've got another pocket coming up here haven't we so i have got another one of those same tags but that might be a bit boring what about an advert or oh, or oh, this yeah i like that and i think i'm going to use some washer just to liven that up let's have something that fits in with this green page opposite i don't want the leaves what's this that's just random might be a bit too random for me liking oh this looks good it's got tags i quite like that we didn't liven all the one up did we yeah i'm gonna put that down there because the tags mirror the shape of those tags let's have a oh i like that just long edge at pocket don't have to go all the way because the bottom is cut off straight i'm going to do the same with the top rather than rip oh and i do like that they're all the yeah got a lady with a little owl musical instrument a street scene and then i'll come in and just give that a burnish i think we should be all right not resting that on anything we've got the tags behind I think it's a bit like tape, sticky tape. It sticks better when you've burnished it. I think this washi tape needs a burnish to stick properly. I don't seem to have trouble with it peeling up. No, oh, I do I like that. So let's go back to the other pocket at the other side of the book. And I want to use washi tape again, but I don't want, I think that might be too thick for that pocket actually so what else have we got oh we've got the perfume labels they would be nice because the black and white i don't see them as being overly girly no that that's not good because that's such a thin page and they're so stiff they're sticking up in air rather than following page no i don't want that about music paper tag i think that might be a candidate for just some paper ephemera like a receipt or something like that do i have some of that here no i'm just going to pause while i grab a folder of receipts and i'm back i stopped it rather than pausing it what am i like yeah i knew i'd got this in my drawer of printed digits it's just uh it's a kit that i bought from yvonne preston from her website with uh, receipts some of these are far too grungy for this book but there's quite a good selection and i just print uh, a tea dyed page on the reverse like that that's more of a color that would be suitable awesome it I hope I've not used all the smaller ones. No, I haven't. Here we have some smaller ones. Yeah. Surrey County Council. <laughs> I just find it funny that the, we want to buy photocopies of old receipts. So all I would do here is trim one of these and fold it. I think that top one is going to be the perfect size. So I'll grab my big chompy scissors. Yeah, you'll just have to. It is a craft with me, so I will inflict me cutting things out on you. Yeah, I'm having quite a chilled Saturday. I've had a good night's sleep. I'm hoping this sleep pattern stays in effect until school starts on Thursday for my girls. I were in bed asleep before midnight and I got up without an alarm, without a cat jumping on my face at 
so that was a good at least seven and a half hours i can't remember what time i came to bed it could have been somewhere between 11 and 11 30 i think we'd had a chilled night watching films and nibbling snacks it was friday so what we always used to do before the lockdowns and yeah we'll just every night we're like friday when nobody were at school or going anywhere every night's a saturday night so yeah we watched a film we normally take it in turns to choose a film i'm just going to age the edges of this a little bit Uh, we'd forgotten whose turn it was to choose a film we've got uh, my youngest who always picks she likes to watch korean thai dramas she loves reading subtitles she'll watch she'll watch a film in any language if it's got subtitles yeah well, i'll put a bit of aging up back then the eldest twin rebecca she likes anime and she likes japanese things <laughs> and then i'll put some at, throw my curveball and stick some at, like titanic on and they're like oh mom it's three hours long like yeah get your sense comfy then but i'd chosen a japanese film last time because it had been on sky cinema so i'd chosen that oh that's that's perfect in there yeah that receipt and i'll put a different type of washer um this i'll get me other washer tub out that's a new tub i got i actually bought that after seeing yvonne preston she'd bought a very similar one and i thought oh washing in a tub don't you just love the look right would this go i've got some number washer that is a bill and it's got numbers on so in my head i'm saying this washer with numbers on is absolutely perfect oh then i've got tickets and receipts oh what to do tickets and receipts the washer is just black and white with the numbers so, yeah i'm going to put tickets and receipts up here up the edge Again, straightish. I seem to be doing really well with straightish these days. I'm trying very hard not to be a control freak and have to have things perfect. Right, we're going to cut that ticket straight across the middle. Well, hey, look at that. I didn't stress about it not being perfect but I like the look of it up that pocket it was a little bit plain before wasn't it so we've got receipts and tickets in my head they go together so we've got another little page done there my, my desk's getting ridiculous isn't it <laughs> put that tub of washi away I'll just leave the ticket one out because I'm feeling I'm going to use that again Oh, I've got a botanical one there. Might use that too. Right. Ah, oh, ears are ringing now from snapping that lid shut. So, here we go. I think I want something on the inside of that cover page. And I think I might want another no we've already got that type of pocket in this signature haven't we so no i don't want that let's see what else we've got oh, i wish i'd i know we've got a policy envelope in the back if you didn't watch i showed you how to make a policy envelope about a two separate pieces of paper so it uses a little bit less and if you've not got say if you've only got an 8b8 pad you can still make this policy envelope i've just got this urge to put that in somewhere i could just put it in i could make a pocket in the front the open pocket and pop the policy envelope in as a removable one that's an option so let's go back to the page in question what do we want 
use one of those. I could make another pocket. I could make a little flip. I don't tend to do a lot of flips in these kind of writing journals. As I said, these are my plainer journals with lots of pages. So let's have another sift through. This would be good as a live, wouldn't it? So you could tell me what you think. Oh, we could put that in. Do you know the smaller fold out? That would be quite good there. Had I not lost it. Oh, the wage packet. The wage packet. The wage packet. It's going to be the wage packet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it like that. I'm just going to make it into what you call a little a little flap and I'm going to attach it with yet more washi tape that washi tape's getting some you oh shall I do it with I'm going to do it with the thin framers tape because it's going to be a hinge it's going to get used we don't want it to break we want it to last so I'm going to get my framers tape out this is the thin one yes yes that's what i'm going to do i'll move the book over to one side and i'm going to attach the framers tape to this yeah i'm not going to worry that that's not straight just yet i'm going to pop it right up to the line on the wage packet and i'm going to end it at the crease So I've just cut across where the crease is there. Can you see? And then I'm going to cut this bottom bit flush. <clears throat> then I'm going to bring my book back in. And I want to line that up. I'm leaving a tiny little gap between the edge of my page and the back of my, wa my wage envelope. And I'm going to stick that on. So that will flip in and out yeah and I'm gonna put some more tape there I can either use this again or I can use washi tape I'll use this yeah use some more of this it's just made a little hinge I'm gonna cut this slightly longer than I think I need we Another way, that's your first weird day. <laughs> oh. Right, I uh, just thought of something. I don't want it to go inside there. Right, I need to shape the top of this. Otherwise, it's going to... Can you see how the pocket on the wage slip is shaped? That's it. That's better. yeah and then i need to cut the bottom across straight again happy with that and i'm going to come in again with the bone folder and give that a bit of a burnish that is if i haven't lost the bone folder there's every chance I've lost it. I know I used it two minutes ago, but that doesn't mean I know where it is, does it? I really need to come up with some system of tidiness for when I'm using lots of different things. I think the system would be to get a desk that's twice as big. So let's burnish that down. I like that. I like the look of the tape. Strange as it sounds as well. There we go. Now I'm going to grab the my hardback book while I just burnish the crease so that this will lay flat within my book yeah me like it so that's an extra little pocket I quite like that and on the back you see the tape but I like that look 
And we've now got an extra pocket and in there we can pop anything we like what shall we pop in i think i just need to move from one pile to another instead of letting this spread so as i pick it up from the right it's spreading into a pile on the left that we definitely want to use i'm going to save that on my washi tape do you know when i'm shouting where's it gone can't find it shout it's on the washi tape but I like that right although that is paper i'd made it to back a tag i think that would make a nice little bit of writing paper to pop inside this wage envelope yeah there we go so that's that's the first signature done so i don't know how long we've been videoing but i'm going to do one more signature then i am going to have to do the last three in another video because it's just going to be forever isn't it so that's one signature done right let's move on to the next one which has got about 20 pages oh we've got a map page there i like that but you know what i'm going to flip it back flip it back woman start it back then we can have some things similar to what we did in front one. In fact, I tend to make my signatures similar. I bet this is the same as front one nearly. Oh no, we've got some extra pockets, look. Oh, we've got the pockets together, should I say. Yeah. Hmm. So, I think I might want to come and put this in somewhere near back. So, when you're writing this, it's fanning out onto yeah we don't want the whole bulk of the journal under it do we i think this needs to go near the back it does does it want to go on the very back page no i want to put it i want to put it here yeah so we're putting that there remember that's going to fold out and give us a full hidden writing spot and I'm going to glue this along three sides so it can also be an extra pocket. So you can have a pocket there and one there. Yes. And I'm going to use Kalal for this because I'm just sticking it to thin paper. And I don't want... I could have, that's thicker paper, isn't it? Yes, I'm going to leave that as it is. I like the lines. I'm going to to go over and put it on here it's still not the sturdiest paper in the world so i'm going to stick it on with kalal because i know it's not going to wrinkle my paper i've not had my pin in why would i have my pin in so let's there we've got the top of like healed over not keeled over healed over So just like that, up both sides and along the bottom. And I'm going to cheat and <laughs> use these lines to help me line up where I'm putting this. Like I say, it doesn't matter whether this is straight when I've got lines on this page. It needs to line up with the lines. Because if I bound everything straight, it will be straight, won't it? So that's that one. I'm not going to go flipping that open or putting any tags in it now. It needs time to set. But as you can see, it's still lovely and smooth on the other side. No wrinkle lines where I would put the glue. So let's move on to this pocket. I've got to carry on the washi theme, haven't I? I've used washi on other pockets i think we've set the theme now for the decorating i'm looking at these leaves and thinking they might look good next to that green page but i'm not 100 percent sure have a, have a sip of tea while i ponder that one oh that's nice it's getting a bit cold now though mm. Mm. no i don't like them leaves i'm afraid i don't I think I need something on that pocket it's too green it's a big expanse of green just poking me in eye <laughs> I want a ticket I do 
I don't know what ticket though. I'll grab some out of here. I think these. This says Tracy Fox, plain and simple labels. Well, I tell you, what, let's go to ones that are already cut out first. Because I've just remembered I filled it up. I cut some new ones out, didn't I? We're not just sifting through the same old few. Here we go. Oh, I like that. I know it's not a ticket, it's a tag. But I really like that. We could make a little tuck spot on tuck spot. <laughs> oh, beam me up, Scotty. A tuck spot. Yeah, we can make a tuck spot out of this tag on the side of that pocket. Yay! I don't matter don't doesn't bother me if this wrinkles, it's on the inside of a pocket, we won't see it. So I'm going for my quicker to grab cosmic shimmer so I'm just doing the top of the tag the side of the tag and the bottom of the tag and then we can tuck something in it I could have just done two sides of the tag really but there's a chance it may it's not a thick thick tag I think I've done it on about 160 GSM card a thin 160 GSM card at that as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to seal the pocket with glue. Because I don't want this wrinkle and I'm going to use Kalal. Just a thin line. Yeah, because I don't want washi tape over. We've got that ticket now, haven't we, as some decoration and interest just get any cloud that's squidged out of the edge yeah so that's totally transformed that little pocket ain't it just sticking that on well happy with that then i want a long thin tag now to put in it i'll be on a hunt now for a long thin tag so we could put a label on here a nice upwards label that. Oh. That, that one could just stick in there yeah do you know what that's what I'm doing I'm sticking that in there and then I know in my tiny or small ephemera tin I've got some more long labels oh long labels and tickets what's that one that's just a little banner that's quite sweet oh I could put some strips of my tickets in look at that that's all grungy isn't it I'm going to put that in that's the end of the roll you've got the rust from the paper clip you've got the paper that was holding the roll end so yeah it fits in a journal like this that is lovely I like that I'm happy so what do we want in the pocket? We want a tag of some description. Dare we go for a bit of pink? We dare? Yeah. Pink has a place everywhere. It fits on that page. I like it. We've got the pink on the grungy ticket and then the pink on the flower. Is that upside down? That's a clue. No, it's the right way. Yeah, that's a... Uh, graphic 45 journal card and I think in here we want another receipt I'm going to cut this other receipt out that was on the same page as the first one yeah so here we go you've watched me do a lot of umming and ahhing <laughs> cutting today Describe today's video as a crafting background video. <laughs> it's like, it is the elevate <laughs> elevator music of crafting today. I'm not overly giddy. I'm rather chilled today. I 
My life is stress three. Stress three. No. Stress free. Thought of my children going back to school and how marvellous it's going to be for their education. Is, yeah, making me happy. Not the thought of the quiet, peaceful house. No, it's just it's their education I'm worried about. No, I do. I do. I do take an interest in their education. I'm very much a yeah. When it comes to kids and learning, I'm very much. I don't mind if I'm wrinkling this. By the way, it's an old receipt. If I were inking something this thin that I didn't want to get any wrinkles in whatsoever, I would hold it up against a piece of card while I did the edges. But it all adds to this receipt looking older. And we, yeah, we can get away with that once. Yeah, with kids' schoolwork, to an extent, I'm all about making them want to learn rather than making them learn. If that makes any sense someone tried to make me do something I'd be very rebellious and just oh, I'm not doing that and then if someone told me I couldn't do something I'd be like yeah I'll show you right I'm happy with that page now that's that's one of the more highly decorated pages I'd do in this kind of journal so we're cooking with gas now aren't we cooking with gas oh I've got so oh, I'm gonna say I've got two music paper ones on this side no I haven't we've come to the center so we're now going back to the other half of the signature another pocket we've got this pocket to do we need something different to do on it this time I think this time I might just put labels on it yeah we need a label could we have more than one label could we be very I could seal the pocket with we don't need to do labels, do we? Hang on, what could we do? I've got this, Anta, this. I love this washi tape. It's got bugs on it. It's got a dragonfly and a beetle. I'm going to do what's on the other side, just green. Right, I'm going to seal this pocket with washi tape, but not all the way up. I'm going to put dragonfly and beetle across the pocket front like that perfect length and then I'm going to fold it over and put butterfly and what else have we got oh butterfly and bee on that side well that label's a bit longer so I'm going to have to lose a little bit of the detail about the bee I'm going to have to lose a little bit more of the detail about the bee or it ain't going to fit. We know about bees, don't we? Yeah, we don't need to know much more about bees. And got that pesky bone folder. Can you see? You can see on this washi tape. Let me get my book. Can you see how the colour changes when you've burnished it? And that's the difference, I think, between sticking washi tape on that curls up and giving it a burnish and making it more permanent. Look at the difference. I don't know what it's doing, why it's doing it. It makes it more translucent as well. Mm. I'm not going to be able to get that book in here it's too oh it's okay they're managing to do it just by against the book block it looks like have you ever done those rub on stickers where when you rub it and the backing loosens from the sticker if you've never done rub on stickers you'll not know even if you have you might think what on earth is she going on about yeah i need something let's try it thinner card Oh yeah, that's good enough. Wow, you, yeah, you can actually see this sticking down. Had this been on a piece of paper, the same colour of the backing, this backing would have disappeared into the background. Hmm. 
There you go, we've got a insects page. How random was that? So yeah, I like that. And that. So what can we put in this? Do you remember I got a journal card with a dragonfly on and I said that's from Kelly's Crafts by Kelly. That might look good in this journal. Look, my phone case has craft lanched onto me. And I'm sure I left it to one side. Right, because we're nearly at the end of this signature, what I'll do is I'll tidy up as we look for it. So I'll just pick these up into a pile in my hand. Oh, a bingo card. I did want to get a bingo card in here. Oh, put that there. The things that I know I'm going to use all of. As I go through looking for spots where I need decoration, my mind's ruling out what I'm not going to use and what I am. So what I need to do is put away what I know I'm not going to and keep out what I know I'm going to. I'm not going to use that, it's too cream. But I'm now wanting that journal card by Kelly's Crafts by Kelly with the dragonfly on it. And if I don't find it, I'll then be tempted... We've got a few pockets, might stick a few extra pockets in with those. I'll then be tempted to go and print it out again. And I'm trying not to print anything out whatsoever. I'm trying to use up what I've got. I want that pocket in. So it's not in that little handful. It'll be buried. Oh, I need a glassine bag somewhere. So that's a definite. I'm not, it's not a roughly journal. I do like that Rolodex card. Mm, that's going to have a place. I'm not liking straw paper. I know I've got a couple of straw paper pages, but this was from a very old batch when I first started doing straw paper. And it was a much paler yellow, can you see? I've not noticed over time how the colour of what I've been selling had changed until I came to put together some off-cut boxes. And so that's what I... You see my off-cut box listed, it does say that you'll get various thicknesses of paper and colours. I didn't realise what. You know when something's gradually changing over time, you don't realise how it's changed, do you? And that's what's happened to me and my straw paper. Oh, we've got to put that in. I found everything but the dragonfly. Where is it? This is just a video of me searching my desk now, isn't it? Oh, Ecky Thumb. Oh, is that him? Is he underneath? No. No. I'm going to have to watch this video back to see what on earth I did with the Dragonfly journal card. Because I want it, and I want it now, and no other journal card is going to cut the mustard. So I'm just going to pause and find him. I'm back. Do you remember when I paused to get my receipts out? I've got the folder of receipts and put them on top of this little stack of ephemera that I got out to use. Here he is. I'm happy now. Sorted. He lives in that. Doesn't he just live in there? I had to find him because he was the perfect card for that pocket. Right, I'm happy now. I've got him in there. Right, we can go on to fill this pocket. So this was a little handful I got. Yeah, do you remember that little man? With his little in the postcard. I think I might make him into a teeny tiny pocket. Yeah. Well, we're coming to the end of this signature now. I'll have... The, yeah, the second video with the last three signatures, I've... I have now developed an idea of the kinds of things I want to put in and the kinds of things I don't. So that will go on a bit. That's another dragonfly, but I don't think he's right for this journal. I do like this library ticket. I do think, yeah, I like that in there. Yeah, he's going in there. And I'm going to pop something on there. 
no, that's too tall. I'm going to put those in one of the centre pockets, I think. This, I'm going to continue with the theme of the washi tape on these. So, what did we put on the other one? Did we put tickets on the other one in this signature? Oh, we didn't put any on. Oh, we didn't do it. That page had enough on, didn't it? We didn't do anything. But this page needs something. So, I like this one. I used this in a video recently. It's the numbers and letters. I'm going to put some of this on. Oh! Oh! Oh no! That's just gutting. That's really gutting. I'm so unhappy. That's going to have to go there now. There we go. <laughs> I like it. I like how it fades away. I'm gutted I just did that. You know what I'm going to do with the other piece? I'm going to put it at the top of this page. That's what I call an happy accident. I've got no intention of putting that on that paper until I made such a devastating mistake. So... We've got the other ends ripped, so I'm going to rip that. There we go. <laughs> Look what happened. Yeah, I like this. Cause that It's got a lot of the same colour tones that we've used in this journal. Yeah, and it brings a little spock, spock of colour. I'm doing it again. Spock. I think I need to watch some Star Trek. I haven't watched any for a long time and I'm a bit of a trekkie. I still don't know how Voyager got home yet. If you're, not, if you're not into Star Trek, you'll have tuned out. But yeah, I still have not finished watching the last season of Star Trek Voyager. From about 15 years ago, I think. Right, yeah. I just want a label on there now. I don't want more of that. But I like how that occurred. That will I felt quite spontaneous when I did that. So I'm going to grab my label tub. And I think I could want an oval label. Not circular, not square, but oval. No, I don't. No, I don't. I want field label approved. I'm just faffing now, aren't I? I've gone into faff mode. No, that's what I want. I want that when we're writing on it. I'm going to pop it there and I'm going to leave it with a teeny tiny tuck spot. And again, because you don't see the back of this paper, I'm sticking it down with my Cosmic Shimmer. If it wrinkles it, it wrinkles it. We won't know and we won't see it. No idea what that label says. But I don't really need to know, do I? And I'm going to look for another slim label in here just to tuck in it. What's that? There you go, that's done. Another page. Quite happy with that. And have we done now? We need one more thing in it, front and signature, I fear. And I think it's going to have to be a policy envelope. Yeah. I think I'm going to glue this up and pop it on with a paper clip. This is not going to be a permanent fixture. Yes. I'm going to put this together with Kalal because I've printed it out on quite a... Again, it's thin cardstock, heavy paper, you would call it. That's that. And I'll glue the bottom up. I've not put the glue right to the bottom because we've got that empty space there. That 
and pop in. And do you know that hexagonal label I had? I think I want to put it on there. I'll use this glue because it's in my hand. I'm in shot. Just. <laughs> I think I've had that half page out of shot for a summer time. Field label approved. There we go. And I'm going to pop that there. Then it will hold that closed. So you could tuck something in there more permanently. And that's just going to go on with paper clip of I'm gonna get a gold one then I think I'm going to attack it with the heat tool or my attack it with the heat tool or attack it with my yeah lighter to turn it a more oldy coloured gold. I can see this so I just can't get it out. Here we go. It's it's actually quite a bit of an old coloured gold anyway this yeah that and that's it so there we have it two signatures i may put a little bit more and i may not that needs something tucked in the bingo card told you i had to use a bingo card there we go i like it so yeah not overly fussy fancy decorating just a little bit of a hint something to prompt a bit of creativity you know whoever gets this journal or buys it and wants to continue using it so there we have it and believe it or not that will have made this journal a little bit thicker look you can see the outer signatures now the center signatures are all close together so when we've put something in these other three this journal will be done won't be gay to mouth but it will be yeah anyway i'm going to stop whiffle waffling now i do hope you enjoyed that and i'm quite aware again it's something a bit different from me but that's that's how i craft i'll do something a bit different most days i'll jump from one thing to another so expect my channel to do the same and hopefully there's a little bit of something for everyone so thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time with this. I'm not going to leave you another three months. I'm doing these will be up on consecutive days. Yep. So thank you very much. Bye.